an arithmetic sequence is a sequence that has a common difference. It goes up by the same amount each time. If we had a sequence that went 5, then 8, then 11, then 14, then 17, and so on, we have an arithmetic sequence. It goes up by 3 each time. So we can say the common difference, which we'll call D, is 3. It goes up in 3s, goes up by 3 each time. And we can say the first term, which we're going to call A, is 5. We're going to go through two formulas in this video. We've got one for the nth term. And it says the nth term, I'm going to write as UN, is A plus A n minus 1 times d. So this says the nth term, let's say it was the fifth term, the fifth term is the first term plus four lots of the common difference. So in this example, the fifth term is 5 plus four lots of the common difference, which is 3, and you can see that gives us 17. So there's our first formula. One for the nth term. And it says the nth term is a plus n minus 1 times d. The other formula, which is given to you in the IGCSE exam, says sn, the sum of n terms, is n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. So we can use this formula to find the sum of some terms in the sequence. So if we wanted the sum of the first five terms, if we want to add all these up, we could substitute in n as 5, a as 5, and d as 3, and it will tell us what these first five terms add up to. Let's have a look at some questions. So this example says the fourth term of an arithmetic sequence is 21. The ninth term of the sequence is 36. Find the first term and the common difference. So we're not looking at the sum in this one. So we're going to be using un is a plus n minus 1 times d. So we know the fourth term, so u4, is 21. So we can write 21 is a plus 4 minus 1, so 3, lots of the common difference. The ninth term is 36. So 36 is a plus 9 minus 1, 8, lots of the common difference. We've got simultaneous equations now. We can solve them by taking away. We've got a in both. So if we take away, well, if we take away the top equation from the bottom equation, we're going to eliminate a. So 36 take away 21 is 15. A take away a is nothing. And 8 d's take away 3 d's is 5 d's. So 15 equals 5 d. Divide both sides by 5, d equals 3. The common difference of this sequence is 3. Now we can substitute that back in to one of our equations and find a. So we can say 21 is equal to a plus 3 d's. d is now 3, 3 3's, which are 9. So 21 equals a plus 9 take 9 away from both sides, a must be 12. So they have worked out our first term and our common difference. So here's one for you to try. Pause the video and give it a go. So again, we're using the same formula. un equals a plus n minus 1 times d. We're told the third term is 15 and the sixth term is 27 
and we need to find a and d again. So the third term is 15. So 15 is the first term plus 3 minus 1, so two lots of the common difference. The sixth term is 27. So 27 is the first term plus n minus 1. 6 minus 1 is 5. Five lots of the common difference. We need to solve these simultaneous equations now. We've got two equations, two unknowns. That makes them simultaneous equations. And if we solve them, we find A and D, which is what we want. So again, A is, we've only got one A in both equations. We can eliminate it by taking one equation away from the other. So I'm going to take the top one away from the bottom. So 27 take away 15 is 12. A take away A is nothing. 5 take away 2 is 3. So we've got 3Ds. 12 equals 3D. Divide both sides by 3. And that gives us D is 4. Let's substitute this in to find A. So let's go into the top equation. 15 equals A plus 2. Lots of the common difference. So 15 is A plus 8. Take 8 away from both sides, and we get A as 7. Here's another example. We've been given the first five terms of a sequence, 2, 5, 8, 11, and 14, and we want the sum of the first 100 terms. So we're finding the sum. We're going to be using our sum formula, which is Sn equals n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1d. We can write down what a and d are this time. So n is 100. We want 100 terms. So n is 100. a is the first term, which is 2. And d is the common difference. It's going up in threes. So d is 3. And we're just going to substitute these values in. So it's the sum of the first 100 terms will be equal to 100 over 2 times 2a, which is 2 twos, plus n minus 1, so 100 minus 1, times the difference, which is 3. And we can type that into a calculator. So we'll grab a calculator and type it in. So we've got 100 over 2 times 2 twos, 2a, plus n minus 1. I'm just going to write as 99. 100 minus 1, I'm going to write as 99, times 3, and press equals. And there's our sum. So 15,050. So the sum of the first 100 terms is 15,050. So if we kept this sequence going for 100 terms and added them all together, this is what we'd get. And here's a question for you to try. So pause the video and give this one a go. Okay, so again, we've been given the first five terms. So, and we need to add up 50 terms. So n is going to be 50. The first term of the sequence is 8. And this time the common difference is 2. It's going up in 2s. So we're substituting into the formula. So the sum of the first 50 terms. So the formula is written down here. The sum of the first 50 terms is n over 2, so 50 over 2, times 2 eighths, plus n minus 1, 50 minus 1 is 49, times the common difference, which is 2. And we can type it in the calculator. So we have 
50 over 2 times 2 eighths plus 49 times 2 and that's 2850 One more example. So we have the fourth term of the sequence is 17. The tenth term is 35. And we need to find the, the sum of the first 50 terms. So we've been told the fourth term is 17 and the tenth term is 35. We're going to use this information to find out what A and D are. And once we know what A and D are, we can substitute in to the sum formula. So the fourth term, well to find that, we're going to use our nth term formula. So un, the nth term, is a plus n minus 1 times d. So the fourth term is 17. So 17 is a plus 4 minus 1, which is 3, lots of the common difference. And the tenth term is 35. So 35 is the first term plus 10 minus 1, 9 lots of the common difference. So we need to solve these simultaneous equations. Well, we're going to take the top one away from the bottom one again. So 35 take away 17 will give us 18. A take away A is nothing. 9 D's take away 3D's is 6D's. So dividing both sides by 6, we've got the common difference of 3 again. Now we can find A by substituting in. So 17, substitute into the top line here, is A plus 3 lots of the common difference, which is 3. 17 equals a plus 9. Take 9 away from both sides. So the first term is 8. So now we can use the sum formula. We want 50 terms. So the sum of the first 50 terms. So n is 50. Is n over 2. So the formula is sn equals n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1d. So 50 over 2 times 2a's, 2 8's, plus n minus 1, 50 minus 1 is 49, times the common difference, which is 3. And again, we're going to type that into the calculator. So 50 over 2 times 2 a two eights plus n minus one, which is forty nine, times the common difference, which is three, and we've got four thousand and seventy five. Okay, one for you to try. So pause the video and give it a go. So we've been given the fifth term is thirty. So 30 is A plus 4 lots of the common difference. The eighth term is 51. 51 is the first term plus 7 lots of the common difference. We're going to solve these simultaneous equations to find A and D. So bottom equation take away top equation gives us 21 equals 3D. So dividing by 3. The common difference is 7. Substituting back in to the top equation, 30 equals a plus 4 sevens. 4 sevens are 28. So take 28 away from both sides. We get a is 2. We want the sum of the first 100 terms. So n is 100. So the sum of the first 100 terms is so using our sum formula again which is down here 
So 100 over 2 times 2a's plus n minus 1, which is 99, lots of the common difference. And we'll type that into the calculator. And we get out 34,850. And that's our sum of the first 100 terms.